Okay, so the three camps. Well, this is a traditional wake-up call used by the military. And I'm, when I say traditional, I'm talking 1700s traditional, okay? So this goes back a long, long, long time. Now, this particular um, song, because there'd be like a pipe player playing this as well, um, was used to wake up troops in the mornings um, where they raised the flag. So this would be something you'd hear every morning at an army camp back in the day. Now, over hundreds of years, it's evolved and changed slightly. I'm going to teach you the version today. First of all, as just a check pattern. When I say check pattern, if we're playing a roll, but like this, the check pattern are the single stroke arm movements that I go around that roll. So we're going to learn this today as if it's a template, and I'm going to give you loads of loads of other things you can do with this. So one little simple tune exercise can be used as a template to create multiple others. So three camps. What we've got in this, we've the way we're going to divide it up is we're actually going to call it um, the three different sections of the song, camp one, camp two, and camp three. The, the order actually goes camp one, camp two, camp three, back to camp two again. So if we start with the first camp, I'll play it once, and we'll break it down, all right? So we've got this. And that is repeated, okay? And what you can hopefully get the feel of already there is I'm playing triplets. So I'm going one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. That's my first bar. One under, two under, three under, four under. So let's play that twice in a row. Two, three, four. One under, two under, three under, four under. One under, two under, three under, four under. And again, two, three, four. One under, two under, three under, four under. One under, two under, three under, four under. And what I want is a big difference between my louds, my accents, and my quiet taps. Two, three, four. One under, two under, three under, four under. One under, two under, three under, four under. And the final section then, I'm going to do this in two bar chunks. To me, there's kind of a tune. It's kind of like... um. Um, what's that? That's the ba 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 ba. It's kind of that tune. Ba 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 ba. The bit we're about to do. Ba 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 ba. It's kind of like every bedtime nursery rhyme, isn't it? Right. So that the second part, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what I should be saying there is pancake throw. The two under, three under, four under, one under, two under, three under, four under. One under, two under, three under, four under, one under, two under, three under, four under. So if I play the whole line, and I'll do my best uh, singing voice to help you get the tune in this, I've got two, three, four, we've got ba, 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 ba. Same again, two, three, four. Ba, 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 ba. Now that whole section is repeated twice, but what you might notice on the score there, look, is the very last note, very, very last note of that whole set, the, the second repeat of that is accented because what's going to happen now is we're going to get what I like to call kind of lead ins. We're going to get kind of like, uh, 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 uh. That kind of lead-in pattern, that left before we start playing some of is basically what we do when we jump into the second camp. So anyway, let's play all of the first camp, both lines, with that very last accent. And what I'll do is I'll play the first note of the, sec the next um, section as well. Ready? So two, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Repeat. One, two, three. So that last bit, just got to make sure you get that. Okay, last time. One, two, three, four. Camp two then. Camp two is exactly the same thing, but every time we play one of those sixes, instead we play... The first, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the sixth note accented. So that the, uh, the first two bars would go ba, 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 two, three, four, ba, 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 
lead ba 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 lead. Second half of that ba da 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 da. So if I put some numbers there, I've got one and a two and a three, a one and a two and a three, a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. Repeat at two three. So let's try that whole section. And again, two, three, four. So I could count two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stop. Right, let's move on to camp number three. Camp number three, we get a different tune or a different order of the tune. We actually start with our sixes, so we get ba, 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 da, 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 so it's a little bit shorter than the rest, okay? So, the first bar. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, the next bar. Well, we've been playing that all the way through the exercise. So it's kind of the bars that we've already played, but in reverse order. So if I play the first two bars, I've got ba, 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 ba. Two, three, four. One, a two, a one, two, three. And all we do is we play that twice in a row. One, two, three, four. One, a two, a one, two, three. A one, a two, a one, two, three. A stop, two, three, four. One, a two, a one, two, three. A one, a two, a one, two, three. A stop. Right, so then what we do, we've done camp one, we've done camp two, we've done camp three. What we do now is we go back up. We play camp two again with a slight different ending. So all of camp two, which is really kind of camp four, would be. So this is all normal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This time, one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the last part, instead of playing five, six, seven, and stop, we've got. Now there's some discrepancies on this part here because over the you know, hundreds of years, uh, this ending has changed. Sometimes you're going to see people play that kind of pattern. So it doesn't really matter which one of those endings you choose. I'm just going to play the, the plain one that's written on there at the moment, but bear that in mind. So let's see if I can talk you through then the whole of the exercise, right? Camp one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Repeat. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we say roll over, roll over. Roll in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roll in. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So count three starts with this. Ah uh, ah. Uh, a uh, one, two, three. Repeat. Ah uh, ah. Uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, a uh, one. Back to count two. Ah 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 ah. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A uh, one, two, three. A uh, one, two, three. The ending. A uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is three camps. However, right? I need to jump in with with a however. The original versions had rolls in between, so we get we actually get instead of we're gonna get and there's different ways of interpreting that, but I can squeeze everything outwards so it's more like this. So yeah. So I'm trying to space everything out evenly, or I can play it more like. Now, my understanding is originally, like going way, way back, it was played more like. 
so really spaced out, right? Almost as a, uh, a 16th note kind of variation of it, right? We're in triplets here. What we're going to do is we're going to do it as written, and we're going to play the triplets as in like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, count two, two, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, a one, two, three. A one, two, three, four, five, six, count three. A one, a two, a three, four, uh. a one, a two, a three, four, five, two again. A one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, four. And that then is the whole exercise. So as I said, right, try and place those as those five strokes, or tap fives, I like to call them, tap, 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 tap. But maybe mess around as well with opening those diddles up. So instead of playing um, a, like a tap and then a roll, it'll be more like five strokes. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We'll open them right up. One, two, three. One, two, three. What would that be? It'd be a five, wouldn't it? One, so. more difficult that one is I think go try it I'm going to give you lots of variations with these in later lessons we're going to do all sorts of things master that it's going to give you a template to try lots of things see you next time